All right, we have two tasks left on our plate. Though it seems only one is visible here. Uh, Durlux Tower, as well as going back to Candlekeep. And I think... Actually, do we have anything in our inventory we need to get rid of? Yeah, we have a bunch. After that, we will go to Candlekeep. You have but to ask. Oh, hey, Chainmail plus three. That's pretty good. Um, how about you? Anything? Quarterstaff. Staff mace plus two. That, well, probably not going to be all that useful for me. Just a wand of lightning. An acid arrow plus one. Shield amulet. That sounds interesting. This amulet can be activated by a simple command word and a touch, with each use acting as one charge. The effect is a duplication of the first level wizard spell shield. Oh. For the duration of the spell, the wearer will have a base armor class of four and a further plus two armor class bonus versus missiles. Very nice, and become immune to magic missile. This is cumulative with any modifiers due to the due to shields and magical devices. So I could stack that with Khalid, for example. Maybe. If so, that'd be really nice. For increasing his tankiness. I wonder how many charges it has, though. Another Cloak of Protection, plus one. Quite nice. Just Knaves Robes. Dart of Wounding. Oh, right, the Ornate Bastard Sword. That's the Sword of Baldurin! God damn it, I should have used it! Plus four versus Lycanthropes. 2d4 plus four versus Lycanthropes. Oh, that would have been very useful if I had identified and equipped it. Oh well. It might still be worth equipping. Is it a long sword? No, it's a bastard sword. Ornate but poorly balanced weapon was found within the wreck of Baldurin's ship. Gold weapons are not known to be useful in combat, but legends say that only weapons forged of gold can harm such dread creatures as those creatures as the Loop Guru. Oh, I'm surprised it's not silver. Though it looks gold here. Dart plus one, arrow plus two, and a wand of magic missile. Wonderful. Last but not least. Okay, no magic items in there. Now, for purposes of selling, I'm not sure if Baldurin's logbook or the butter knife of Baldurin would be better sold here or somewhere else. I feel like I should at least check someone in Baldur's Gate. Besides him, of course, that, uh, like that one history museum, I bet they would like it. Here we are, back at Candlekeep. Hello, Keeper of the Portal. I have something for you this time. I'm not a doormat. I mean, you are a doormaster, though. Hold, travelers. Before you'll be allowed entrance, you must donate a tome of great value to our libraries. We have a book you apparently require. You have met the requirements to gain entry to our most holy library. So does this count forever, or do I have to bring a book every time? It is fine to see the child of... Ryan once again within these hollowed grounds. Please, have your less civilized friends remain refrain from causing trouble. We are very strict with the letter of the law, as you well know, Artorius. Excellent. Aw. I don't get to keep this scroll. What if I could pickpocket off of him? Probably not. Let's 
been a while since we were here. Ooh, I'm tired. Sounds like we should get a rest first. I remember the end of this. Um, I returned to Candlekeep. I must find Realtar and expose his connection to recent events. I should head to the Central Keep right away. It hasn't been filling up my journal anymore. I don't like that. I must rest. Add entry. I don't like having an empty journal. Uh, I followed. God damn it! I have followed the Iron Throne back to my home. I need time to process the feelings this leaves me. I don't know, it's sufficiently melancholic. Wonderful. It's been far too long since that updated. I remember I used to do that at the beginning. Hole. Do I remember you? Now here's a f there's a face I never thought I'd see again in a million years. When we heard about Garin's passing, Fuller and I went out to gather his body, but you were nowhere to be seen. I don't know what you two came across that night, but Garin died a noble death saving you from it. Yeah, he was overwhelmed. Um, thanks for taking care of his remains whole. I didn't have the means. Someday we'll sit down over a mug of ale, and I'll tell you about it. I look forward to it, kid. <laughs> He's about as tired as we are. Back to the old candle keep in. Basically where I started. It shall be as Wouldn't throw up. I'm... It's been far too long. Before that, though, Reaver, who are you? By Moradin's hammer! You've been away without leave, soldier. Are you expecting forgiveness? Are you expecting redemption? Well, spare me. I want 500 push-ups and I want them now. I don't think I ever enlisted. Well, not here at least. My hotel's as clean as an elven arse. Aye, uh, now there's the rapscallion. Sit on the will sit on the little wisp now. They make every bolt count. Where are they? Call them off, Winthrop. I didn't do anything. Why are they? Why does everyone want me? They'll never take me alive. <laughs> um. Oh, Winthrop, you old fool. If I had an arrow for every one of these practical jokes you've played on me, I'd... I'd... I don't know. I'd have a lot of arrows. Well met, my friend. Yes, you'd run me right out of the fletching business in a flash, you would. It's good to see your impish face again. Now will me uh now fill me in on what it is you've been doing lately. Well, I've been trying to get to the bottom of this metal crisis. The merchant skill is involved somehow. Iron Throne. Know anything about them? The Iron Throne, child. Why, there'd be no bigger or more dastardly mercantile consortium in all the Western realms. They've been barred from Coromir for their unsavory practices. But all it's done is make them nastier. You'd best stare clear of them as long as you've got... You've still got life in ye. Sounds good to me. Now, give me the nicest room you've got. Thanks, Winthrop. You know, I haven't drank in for a while. As clean as an elven arse. Give me some, uh... Ar Arabella and Dry. Iron's so scarce these days, you'd think it was valuable as gold. Not a good thing, not a good thing at all. What about a... No, I don't want a bitter black ale, I'll take a mead. It's been really weird these past few months. Iron's been going bad, falling apart almost as if it were rusting for no particular reason. I think these are the old rumors. <laughs> what is it this time? Is the yes. old noble I couple still here? Ah, no, they're gone. How about upstairs?
It shall be as you wish. I ever actually went up here. Huh. All right. How may I be of assistance? See you around, Winthrop. You have but to ask. You have but to ask. Guys, come on. Follow me. Let's donate 100 gold to the temple. My uh, reputation is only average right now. Hear about the heroes of Nashkel, some good folk. Mercenaries, it's said, came down and solved all the town's pro that town's problems. Hope they weren't helping just because of the money. Hmm. <laughs> Right, I'll give you more. How about a thousand gold? I was greatly appreciating your reputation has gone up one point. Uh, all right, let's do another. Oh, they changed it. Iron's so scarce these days. You'd think it was as valuable as gold. Not a good thing. Ain't no one is. Ain't going to be long before no one can afford to be well equipped. What will the guards do then? Should we go to 2,000? Just curious. Nope, still only one point. Alright. That's enough of that. 13. Hope that doesn't piss off, uh, Bayloth too much. He's a valuable Your wizard, uh, sorcerer. Your actions. I don't want to lose him. Got to be careful not to get my reputation up too high. If I want to keep around any less than reputable characters on my party. Of course, if I run into a neutral or good mage who's even better than Baloth, who knows? Maybe I'll take them. Salutations. I am Catterly, a visitor of Candlekeep, like yourselves. You're also probably my enemy. Pardon if I seem out of sorts, but the journey has been long and treacherous and my labors age me so. May I inquire as to your name? I am certain I've seen your face before, but I cannot fully place it. Um, I am Artorius, and I call this place home for many years. Artorius, then I know you well, though you may be hard-pressed to remember. I was here, last here, years ago. And conferred with your foster father. Oh! Is that where I recognize your name from one of those uh, text scrolls? As you were off to the chores. Or was it the dream? It might have been the dream. I mean, that was a text scroll, but... Um... Uh, as you were off to chores. I am not much your senior, really. I am certain you tire of hearing it. And that legion have told you mine that told you the same. But Grine was well known to me. His death has been mourned by many. You weren't his enemy, were you? I do not wish to dwell on his death. I've moved on with my life, though I cherish the memories. I've received sympathy from many a person I have never met before. Uh let's um let's go with option one. That seems reasonable. Perhaps that is for the best. I will speak no more of it, save to say that he was a good man. How have you fared in the time since? As well as can be expected, though I have learned about uh, much about it myself that perhaps was better left unknown. Hmm. Yeah. I made quite a bit of progress. Would that I had a gold coin for every person I have heard say such a thing. I am sure your troubles vary greatly from my own experience, but we all have the trials we must overcome. We all have a side that we sh that should not see the light of day too often. What matters is how much strength you wish to let it have. Bah, such words are better saved for classes and meditations, not for reunions. I will take my leave, though perhaps I shall see you again before I am to go. The tomes of Candlekeep are very nearly endless. I am sure to be here for ten day at least. Oh, I'm sure I'll see you again then. Though I'm not quite sure if the game actually keeps track of those time passing that way. Like, what if I would I have actually died of that poison if I waited long enough? 
There are some within the central keep who wish to speak with you, so it would be wise of you to visit them there sometime. Farewell, my friend. Don't know you well enough to call you a friend, but maybe someday. Assuming you're not gonna... Not leading me into an ambush with the Iron Throne. Phil Dia. Hello there. Hello there. Oh, why, hello. Have you seen my book? Wait, no, you found that already, didn't you? Oh, I just don't know anymore. You haven't been around lately, have you? Wait. Is this to do with a quest that I didn't do way back when? Dia. No, I haven't back. Uh, I haven't been back since Gorion died. Oh no! I did complete the quest. You just lost it again. Never change, Dia. We love you just the way you are. Why? That's an if to make an old woman blush. Gorion sure raised such a charmer in you. <laughs> All right. Well, let's go in then. Perhaps I should actually. What is it this time? Use my ghost armor first, though. It lasts a while. Eh? What do Same you, you. Bark skin. Stone skin. <laughs> uh, yes? And... Oh, right, I already used the amulet. It wasn't a one and done, was it? It was. Oh, damn. That's too bad. I used it to test it out. And it used up the one charge it had. I guess that explains why it didn't give me a charge number. Yes. Oh, well. It shall be as you wish. I don't think I was allowed in here last time. It shall be as you wish. Can I complete my collection? Normal book. <laughs> Blank book is more like it. History of Kamlashan. Or Kalamshan. Kalamshan is older than either. Or we're not. There aren't any elves around here, are there? Now, you. I have no qualms about vaporizing a few of those abrasive curs. But they have an irritating habit of attacking in large numbers. <laughs> you are literally a, a type of elf, Baloth. Drow, do count. Ugh, a pretentious pile of petty ponderances. Oh, right. No wonder you surface folk never get anything done. You're too busy poring over ancient manuscripts. Where's the flair? Where's the excitement? All right, Baloth. Don't get in a tizzy about it. Shit, uh... Damn it. There we go. You ruined it for me. Something on your mind? Okay, everyone, just wait there, Artorius. It shall be as you wish. Karen? Or Koran, maybe? Artorius, my child. I can't see. Look at you. Your face has grown, gained some new lines since the days when I tutored you. Please stay back. You were my tutor once, but who are you now? I cannot know. Um. Ah, Karan, you speak true. But it's not your fault. You prepared me as well as you could for what lay beyond these walls. I just pray that I am prepared for what I shall find within them, now that I've returned. Why? What is wrong here? Shall I tell the Watchers? Watchers are no more to you are no more use than a bundle of sticks. Please just tell me if you have seen anything strange in the lamp. Don't be a dick. Um Yeah, no, the watchers are no more use than a bundle of sticks. Oh fine, we'll be a dick. Strange? Well yes, that is just the word I would have used for that Kovaris fellow. He was right to he was right here beside me. Taking Alondo's prophecies from their place on the shelf and reading them. I could hear his voice. Recognize the seer's words upon his quiet breath. When I turned to steal a glance at him, from the corner of my eye it was the strangest thing. His eyes were closed and he was 
reciting, rectifying, uh, page after page, as if it were for, as if from memory. He heard your footsteps, it seems, and wandered off. I was just returning the prophecies to the rightful place here. It might be wise to take a look. If this Covirus fellow is it felt this Covirus is dangerous, though. I'm afraid I'm too old and bookish to be more than a hindrance. Forgive me. I must leave you now. Of course, Karen. No, excuse me, but I'm late for my classes. Hey, I remember you. Your father was Gorion, wasn't it? You should see all the strange... You should see all the strange fellows who've come to the keep these days. Three men work for that mercantile organization. Iron Throne, I think they called it. They've been meeting with the two spooky, sp spookiest people I've ever seen. It's like clockwork. Every day, they meet on the third floor to discuss who knows what kind of dastardly plots. <laughs> I'm sure they're just boring old merchants counting their money. Unfortunately, no. I think I already have that one. What is it this time? History of Cormer. History of Gondegol, the Lost King. Oh, hey. Focal eyes. And a letter. During the days of the Avatars, the Lord of Murder will spawn a score of mortal progeny. I presume that's talking about godly Avatars rather than, say, Aang. These offspring will be aligned, good and evil, but chaos will flow through them all. When the beasts, bastards, uh, bastard children come of age, they will be they will bring havoc to the lands of the Sword Coast. Well, that's ominous. When these children must rise above the rest and claim their father's legacy, this inheritor will shape the history of the Sword Coast for centuries to come. Cough, Artorius, cough. Maybe? <laughs> Pretty sure I already have that one. Chill touch. The spawn of the Lord of Murder are fated to come into their inheritance through bloodshed and misery. It is the hope of their father that only one shall remain alive to inherit his legacy. I foresee that the children of Baal shall kill each other in a bloody massacre. God damn. I mean, it is Baal though, so... Isn't the second game called the Throne of Baal? Well, no. I think one of them is the Throne of Baal and the other is, uh, the other is Shadows of Am. I forget. Right before he talks to me. Knowledge. Well, dip me in broth and call me stewed. Heh. <laughs> mm, I love stew. If it isn't little Artorius. Why, I haven't seen you for nearly, um, quite some time anyway. Hello, Theoden. How have you been? I still remember you running about the keep in your little swaddling clothes, pestering the elders and spooking the cows. Ain't that right, Jessup? Surely was. Yep. Of course. You never did stay in those rags of yours long. Yes, yes, I remember, but how have you been? You'd be naked as a jaybird the moment someone turned their back on you. <laughs> it's a very child thing to do. I remember the day that fella Blackstaff... You have an interesting speech pattern. I thought you were speaking more articulate, articulately at first, but apparently not. All these contraption, contractions and... Word shortenings, slang. Um, Blackstaff came floating in, and there you were, tearing around the outer keep with Gorion hot on your trail. Took the cloak right off, right off his back. You did, and made yourself just the cutest little. Yes, 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 I remember. Could we drop it, please? How have you been? Wait, wait. I remember it all now. There was Kelp and Blackstaff trying his hardest to look important while you ran through the stables with his cape tied around your waist. Such a lark, eh, Jessup? I thought I'd catch my death from laughing, I did. 
You and me both. Grind was shaking like a leaf. He was so mad. As fun as this has been, I should really be going. Nobody was sure what to do. And then Kelben mutters some words and catches you by the scruff of the neck. With some sort of spectral hand, he hauls you out and drops you right in front of him. Wrapping his filthy cape in the process. Everyone was scared they were. Weren't they just a... Sure enough. Scared witless. <laughs> yep. And then old Kelben busts out the biggest laugh you ever heard. Everyone, you really aren't listening, are you? Everyone in the keep was laughing like mad, except you, Artorius. You just stood there naked as the day you were born and wondering what the fuss was about. I tell you, those were the days. Um, yes, I think I'll be going now. Oh, certainly, little one. Stop by old, any old time, though. I've got some paintings of you as a youngster I'm sure your little friends would love to see. Remember the one of <laughs> Artorias on the bearskin rug, Jessup? Surely do. In the buff, as usual. Cute as a bug you were. Go play with your friends now. Go on. Man, he does. Really doesn't know when to stop. All right, let's, um, I'm gonna check these all really quick. Hmm. It's a nice keep. It looks much bigger on the inside than it did on the outside. Do I have number two? I do not. Excellent. And just the kitchen. All right. I suppose let's head up to the next floor. Our library is a man's Priest of Agla and Bendalus. Hello, Artorius. It is good to see you here once again. Pity you could not have returned during a more restful time. Why? What is going on that would cause you such stress? Oh, it's nothing, I'm sure. It's just that, well, things seem a little strange around here. Those un those decidedly unmerchant-like merchants are for one. And some of our own monks are acting odd as well. One fellow in particular. Really, and who would that be? Well, there's this fellow named Coveris. I assume he's visiting... S he's the one I talked to earlier, right? I assume he is a visiting sage of some sort. No. Wait. No. Was that him? I've already forgotten, damn it. I assume he is a visiting sage of some sort, but he seems more interested in our guests than our than the tomes. He's he makes me nervous. I think he had I think he's had the same effect on others as well. Young Shistal. He's been out of sorts for days now. He's not as thick-skinned as I. You remember how nervous he used to be? He's quite the opposite now. He seems like a totally different person. I worry about him. I should go. It's been nice speaking to you. Hmm. Young Shistar. There it goes. Finally, the journal updated on its own. It shall be as you wish. You need something stranger. Oh, there's Govaris. Ah, I thought you might. Uh, I might find you somewhere around here. Allow me introduce you uh, to introduce myself. Please do. My name. Wait, isn't that the? Ah, could check my records. Is that the name of the guy who's been in the letters? My name is Coveris. I used to work at, for, work for your father. Winning messages to his Harper friends. Wait, Gorion was a Harper? Huh. In Waterdeep, no less. I know enough about the Sword Coast to... Recognize that as quite interesting. I think the Harpers were the ones who, um... 
Ah, they were completely upholed into uh, was it justice, basically. I think something to that effect. They didn't really work for any for any government, though. What was the balance? No, I think it was more justice. Um, before he passed on, he entrusted this ring to me and asked that I give it to you should evil ever befall him. Will you take it? Well, evil befell him, all right. But I want nothing of your baubles. If it is my father's will, then I shall wear it. Thank you for your kindness to him, Covers. I mean, not before I identify it. Wear it with your father's pride about you, then. Before you go, listen to me well. The leaders of the Iron Throne are here in the keep even as we speak. They are at their, they are at their weakest and most unprotected. If you ever hope to kill them, now is the time. Now go, the Iron Throne awaits you. Oh, well. Maybe you are on our side. Right, Realtor is the person I was thinking of. Not Covaris. And Catterly was the person I met at the uh, entrance. Um. Surprised me by suggesting I kill the leaders of the Iron Throne while they're here at Candlekeep. I don't know whether that's the right course, but it certainly could be convenient. Yeah, on the other hand, wouldn't that get me kicked out of Candlekeep? Like, for good. Oh, so... I don't know if I trust Covaris enough. It seems like it might end up being a nice job breaking a hero kind of moment. No, oh, well, no, it's just her standard ring of protection. No different than the others. I think I'm already wearing a ring of protection plus two. Yeah, we can't use. And none of the others can use it. I wonder why that is. Maybe it's only for Artorius. Oh, regardless, I'm not going to just start wearing it. What is it this time? If it's not better, and I... Tempting plan as it could stop the schemes of the Iron Throne right away. But there could be another way. Hmm. What, like, talk them out of it? Yes. You have but to ask. The Lord of Murder shall perish. Hello, Chanter. But in his doom he shall spawn a score of mortal progeny. <laughs> That's Chaos will be shown from their passage. So saith the wise Alondo. Who the hell is Alondo? And that's a creepy chant. Um, there is trouble here, Chanter. You must help me. You are right. I have felt it too. Pray, tell me how this aging frame can help you. Um, as Chanter, you know the history of the this keep better than any other. I have grown up here. I've played within these hall, within its hall walls. But there were there were places I was never allowed to go. I'm older now, and I will go where I must. But please, are there any places in this keep which I have ne was never told? Yeah, but. What right have you to ask that, child? I'm not a child anymore, Chanter. This enti the entire keep is in danger. Even its most sacred, secret and sacred places. Please, Chanter. Grind would, ha Grind would have it so. <sighs> I'm growing old and young are not so young anymore. The young are not so young anymore. Nor the carefree so carefree. Alondo, the seer. The one who founded this fortress of knowledge and whose prophecies I chant each day. I guess that answers that question. He is entombed deep in the bowels of this place. I tell you this, Artorius, because you are right. It is time you knew. But I beg of you, in Grind's name, do not venture into those trapped and warded halls unless some higher power than myself bids you go. 
Your stepfather would never forgive me for your loss. I must go now, child. Artorius, it is time to chant the seer's prophecies as I always have. Oh, that's cool. Now. Oh, it's just luck. Of acid arrow. Bunch of priests here. Mm, that's eleven. I already have eleven. All right, let's continue climbing after we save. The third floor. You have but to ask. I said someone was here. Maybe not. It's a pretty small room. Oh, is that the iron throne in there? Could cast like invisibility or something, but let's uh, save and just try walking in. My dear sir, you must realize that it is manners that make the gentleman, so would you kindly prove that you are one by leaving? The right people can afford to be rude, but this is not to you. Leave now before my ir irate companion Brunos lets his temper get ahead of his reason. Hmm. Um. Fine, we'll be on our way. Good riddance. Don't be a dick about it. Let's see. I'm in the central keep right away. What was that update, though? Good on you if you save the day. I shall attend to it in a trice. Well. Let's see what's at the top floor first. It shall be as you wish. Shistal. Is that the person they mentioned that was acting a little weird? This looks like the sleeping quarters. Priests of Ogma, a bunch of priests. Bunch of readers. Hmm. All right, let's talk to Shistal. No, excuse me, but I'm late for my classes. Leave me be, stranger. I've work to do. All, All the other monks gave me a warm welcome. Why not you? I have no interest in idle chatter. If you knew the daily routine of a monk, you would understand. I knew the routine well. I lived with her for many years. It is you who should know me. Of course. It is just that I did not recognize your face. I am just not acquainted with all the monks quite yet. I was not a monk. I think you are lying. You would do well to leave me be. I tire of this game. Take your questions and go away, monkey. I'm not a monkey. I'm an ape. Um... I don't mean to alarm you, perhaps I was mistaken, but oh, oh no, I have many more questions to ask. For starters, who are you really? I'm your death, foolish meat. Oh, you're a doppelganger. Do I still have the shapeshifter one? No, I don't. I got rid of that. And, uh, Baldrin's blade is only good against, uh, lycanthropes, I think. I'm not still wielding that dagger, am I? There we go. How may I be of assistance? My blade will cut you down to get him. He should go down pretty quickly. Nice. What did he have on him? The 
a gem. This is the common name given to... Oh, Aragonite. A straw yellow gemstone found in an elongated, elongated prism-shaped crystal form. It is soft and fragile and it requires skilled cutting to yield fasten. What does he have I want with this? Hmm. No one's concerned that I just cut down a doppelganger? No? So be it. These walls contain the world's knowledge. Yes, they do. Young man Imkovaris is visiting our library. He is said to know every work of the great Alondo by heart. I would learn from his fine example if I were you, Artorius. Of course. We still have up to go? Oh, perfect. This is a tall building. A tall keep. Our library is a man's harem of knowledge. His harem of knowledge. <laughs> That's a way to put it. Artorius, good to see you. I trust you are well. Piatto. As well as can be expected, Piatto, how have you been? Hmm. Get out of my way, Piatto. Oh, no, don't be a dick to Piatto. Oh, I pine for the days when you and Garayan were still called Candlekeep Home. You brought about a bit of energy. You brought a bit of energy to these walls. I shall have to speak with you later at length, but for now you must rest. Ryan's old room is the third on the south corridor, just as it was. I think there are a few things for you there as well. Shall we shall see you later. Oh, excellent. I shall attend to it in a trice. He said third on the south corridor. All right. Emowin. <laughs> You're Go in there. What is it this time? I shall attend to it in a trice. I want to get all this unexplored, explored. Oh, Piatta, that's your room. That's locked. Is this one the third on the south corridor? Nine gold. Thank you, Grind. No, that one can't be it. Oh, money. Here it is. Okay, he was in the room. Hello, Artorius. If you are reading this, means I have met an untimely death. I would tell you not to grieve for me, but I feel much better thinking that you would. There are things I must tell you in this letter that I might have told you before. That you might have told me before, okay. However, if my death came too soon, then I would have never given been given the chance. First off, I am not your biological father. I think we knew that. For the distinction lies with an en for that distinction lies with an entity known as Ball. Oh, fuck. Hell yeah. I guess that one other prophecy thing was about me. That means I'm a literal demigod. I think. The ball that I speak of is the one you know of as a divinity. In the crisis known as the time of troubles, when the gods walked Faerun, Ball was forced was also forced into a mortal shell. He was somehow forewarned of the death that awaited him during this time. For reasons unknown to me, he sought out women of every race and forced himself upon them. Oh, lovely. Your mother was one of those women, and as you know, she died in childbirth. I had been her friend and, on occasion, lover. I felt obligated to raise you as my own. I have always thought of you as my child. Man. God, that's dark as fuck. Um, as my child, and I hope you still think of me as your father. You're a special child. The blood of the gods runs through your veins. 
I think I guess that means I'm destined for greatness. If you make the, if you make use of our extensive library, you will find that our founder, Olando, has many prophecies concerning the coming of the spawn of Baal. Yeah, I found two of them at least. There are many who will want to use you for their own purposes. One, a man who calls himself Saravok, is the worst danger. Yeah, I found him. He has studied here at Candlekeep. This knows a great deal about your history and who you are. Gorion. How tedious all this becomes. Yeah. That's important. Can I make... There we are, copy note. Well, I am the, uh, the son of a god yeah. who forced himself upon my mother, raised by my mother's friend and lover. What a lovely backstory. And a gold necklace. Very strict. You there, stop and surrender yourself. You are accused of murdering the men Brunus Kostak, Faldorn Ten Hevich, and Realtar Anchev. Ankev. Uh, no, I'm almost positive I didn't kill them. If you give yourself up now, you will be assured a fair trial. I didn't murder anyone, so I'm perfectly willing to go to trial. Innocence of this accusation should be refuted quickly within any fair court of law. Yeah, let's go with that. I'm glad that you have. You, I'm glad you still have this, um, some of the sense Grind taught you. Please follow me. I'm sure, everything will be sorted out quickly. Here's hoping. I mean, did someone actually kill them? Ulrant. So, Artorius, you have sullied your father's name by defiling his home and bringing ruin to a peace that has lasted for centuries. I s Whatever happened to innocent until proven guilty? I guess this is medieval times where it was literally the opposite. Um, I'm not sure when that concept came about. But it's relatively modern, I think. Um, I spit on you and all your friends. Your transgressions will be punished in the most severe form. I formally accuse you of the murders of Bruno Kostak and Realtar Ankev. I have done nothing wrong. Why have you accused me of such a thing? Why have I accused you? You were seen fleeing the murder scene. Kovaros found the identifying ring of a shadow thief assassin in your personal effects. And gold minted in Am. Hmm. Is the gold that I got from the uh, chest, was that planted? And then knowing that I would take it. Hmm. I feel that it is strong enough proof to accuse you. From everything we have seen and found, it's not hard to figure out what, figure what your purpose was. From what I have been told, you have been trying to place all the misfortune of the Sword Coast squarely on the shoulders of the Iron Throne. I assume you and your friends are assassins in the employ of Am. Perhaps you were sent up north to create discord in the region before, the Amni before an Amnian invasion. It matters little. You and your friends will be sent to Baldur's Gate where an appropriate punishment will be administered. Hmm. Wait here then. Who's that? Teth Toil. Hello, young one. I'm sorry to see thee in such terrible circumstances. I knew thee well enough to see that you have been falsely accused. Tomorrow, Ulrant will most likely sentence thee to be sent to Baldur's Gate. 
there thou, so thou wouldst receive the death penalty for these actions. I know that Gorion would not want to see his only child killed a scant few weeks after his own death. Tis as a favor of it to his memory that I will help thee escape. Make thy way through the catacombs beneath the library, but disturb them not. I have your possessions with me. You must take them and go with haste. Do you know anyone by the name of Covaris? I know of no one named Covaris. Covaris is the... Oh, mother fucker! Right, it wasn't Saravok we fought there, was it? I keep getting all the names. It's hard to keep them all straight. It's the reverse of Saravok, a young man who accompanied the leaders of the Iron Throne when they first came. I know not where he has gone. God damn it! Right before my eyes. It is now time for you to go, Artorius. I can teleport you to the secret room that leads to the catacombs. But from there you are on your own. You must be careful within the catacombs. As there are many guardians and traps. Perhaps whoever planned these murders. However dangerous the, however dangerous the catacombs may be. They are a safer alternative to Oron's wrath. Teleport us to the secret library and we'll be right library where as ready as we'll ever be. Powerful mage. Read by Teth Twill. Was he the Was he the mage I had uh, met when I first was here? Standing in front of the keep. Or walking around it at least, wandering about it at least. Well. Here we are. I'm curious what would have happened if I hadn't accepted the ring or taken that gold. Evil round every corner. Careful not to step in.